Hey everyone, how's it going? NJ Chris here. Thanks again for watching. Alright, so this video segment is just going to be a short video on how to, um, how to take care of your knives, basically. Not just how to sharpen them, but how to make sure that they are fully functional for, um, your needs, whether it be bushcraft, fishing, or whatever. Got my whetstones out of the, um, out of the bath. They've been soaking for about 30, 35 minutes, so let's, let's start. I'm going to start right away on one of my Mora's, uh, actually my Mora neck knife. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've made a sloppy mess here of the table uh, with all these whetstones. Now, each one of these whetstones has different grits, and there's different techniques to doing them. There's a Japanese technique where you actually just take the knife and go back and forth like that. There's a cowboy technique where you're actually doing that on both sides of the blade. Um, I like that technique best, and um, I'm going to be sharpening... Uh, my Mora Classic today. As you can see, um, my knives get a lot of use. They have been sharpened a lot. They've been rusted a lot. The spine's rusted. Um, not that I don't take care of it, it's just, you know, when you're fishing and you have carbon steel knives, this is just something you need to do. So, you know, I like carbon steel better than stainless, so it's just an extra step you have to take. Alright, so the first thing I do um, when I take care of the knife is I try to get all that um, all the rust off that you can simply do with a little piece of 220 grit sandpaper um, you can use less you can use more depending on how much it all depends so just take it and a couple times you don't need to do this much and you'll see well, let's do it about 10 times Alright, and as you can see, just by doing that, we removed most of the rust on both sides. So, there's still some over there, but what I normally would do for that is just take that, finish the spine off a little bit. Now, I've actually, um, uh, the spine of this knife I actually sharpened with a diamond sharpener. Uh, just to get it 90 degrees, because I like all my knives to be multifunctional. This way I can strike ferro rod with whatever one I want. Alright, so there we go. Most of that rust is off. Alright, so the next thing I'll do, um, and like I said, this is just to finish the actual blade itself, not the cutting edge. So the next thing I'll do is take one of these. Now this is a 600 grit piece of sandpaper. And this is more of a polish. Now you can do this with a Dremel wheel as well, if you wanted to. I just like doing it manually. I feel like manually sharpening my knives uh, brings me a little closer to them. Alright, so look at that edge now. Or, not the edge, look at that, uh, how shiny that is. Compared to what it did before. And, uh, that's with really nothing. Alright, so now you'll, from there, you'll have to assess the sharpness of the knife. Um, I've used this knife for about a week now without sharpening it, so I can rub my fingers across it, and it's it's pretty dull, so I'm going to start on a 1,000 grit stone. So the stones I have um, all lined up here, I'll, I'll point to. Um, this rough section, this is my roughest stone. Uh, the lower the grit, the rougher the stone. So that's 100, that's 300. Uh, this, on this stone, this little red area is uh, 400, that's 1,500, 1,000, 8,000, and then this little small one is a 3,000, 10,000. So, I roughly have all the areas. Uh, I'm looking to get a 6,000 grit uh, stone pretty soon, too, uh, that's going to get added to my arsenal. This way, you know, I can sharpen whatever I want, whenever I want. Alright, so I'm going to start off on the 1000 grit. Um, this is my 1000 grit stone, as you can see. It is <laughs> very used. Um, I use all my gear a lot, especially my sharpening stones. So, there is a little bit of slurry of water on there. So, what you want to do, well, at least what I want to do is, I want to refine uh, just my primary edge. On this on this knife uh, the second for those of you who don't know your primary edge is your absolute cutting edge it's right there as soon as you put your finger on it that's what your that's what your primary edge is your secondary edge is right there that area that is a little bit gray that is how thin 
um, how thin your knife blade is leading to your primary edge. The thinner that is, the sharper you're going to get your primary edge, but the more brittle it's going to be. So you have to find a, a good medium. Um, that just comes from practice. I can't really show you on a video. I can just show you my technique of how I do it. So, as with everyone, I start with my knife flat like that, and then I raise it, and I find my edge. And that's what I do. Five on each side, flip over, go to the other side. And as you can hear, it's really not making that much noise because it's, you know, it's a 1,000 grit stone, so. Another technique I like to do, and I'll do it over this way, is I'll go point to the edge, point to the edge. And I'll do this on both sides. Alrighty, I'll just wipe the little bit of sediment off. So now we're working on our primary edge of this knife. Now I can already feel that it's getting a little sharper. After I feel that that one's good, I'm going to go working on the other side of the stone. Now this is the 8,000 grit section. So, get my stone in the center there, and I'll do the same thing. Now this time, it's going to be a lot less. You're taking a lot less metal off. So it sounds less. Now what you're doing is you're still creating burrs on both sides of the knife. But that's okay. Because the next step is going to take them off. And like I said, this is just a quick five minute home. Something to, uh, to take care of the knife. Uh, this isn't technically sharpening, this is honing. So, I feel like that edge is good now. Uh, the best way to do it is do the three finger test. Slide your three fingers up and down. If you feel like it's sharp, it's probably sharp. Alright, so, I've sharpened it now, or I've honed it. Um, now it's time to go to the leather strop. I'll take you there All in right. a second. So, my next area, um, what we're going to be doing to get this as sharp as humanly possible, is to add um, a final polish to the blade. Now we're going to do that with this leather strop. Um, this is something I made myself for the, D, uh, for the do-it-yourselfers. Um, this is just about an 18-inch long, uh, basically it's a 1 by 2 and then I went to the thr our thrift store, our local thrift store, and for 50 cents I picked up two belts. Um, well, they were 50 cents each, so for a dollar total I picked up two belts. One has uh, a rougher, like rawhide uh, type consistency, and one has an extremely, extremely smooth uh, leather, like something that was worn out a really long time. So I basically just super glued them to this 1x2, and this works as a really good strop. Now you want your strops um, to be uh, on a hard surface, like a piece of wood, because if you do, if you do it on a piece of wood like this, you're running with the metal. If you have a bent, um, if you have a bent piece of leather, it's basically going to curl up like this, and it's going to curl up around the cutting edge of your blade, your primary edge, and it's going to dull your blade. It's not going to help help sharpen it. So basically, what I do from here is I just have now this is just a little piece of um, this polish that I got out of a Dremel kit, I believe. It's just a, a, a fine polish. So, before I sharpen any one of my blades, I just put a little bit of polish. You don't need much. That's it. Now that's on the smooth side, I'm going to do the rough side as well. There we go. Run two strokes across it. And then from there, I will start with the rough side. I normally do about five on each side to start off. Now once again run the tip from the tip of the blade all the way down. It really helps having the length on this. Now I'll alternate. So I'll do one that side, that side, that side, that side, that side, 
and that side. All right. Now, this is capable of shaving you right now, but it can get better. So we're going to use the smoother side. So, same thing. Five on each side. This is getting all those metal burrs off and, sh and sharpening this edge to the point of perfection. Now, as you can see, the polish here is turning black. That means that uh, there are some, or that has come in contact with metal. The polish here is white. That means it hasn't done anything yet. So it, it really doesn't matter the color. That just makes it so you can tell where, you've, where you're using it. So I did five on each side. Now I'm going to alternate. And this is the final step. All right. Okay, guys. So now here's the ultimate test. How sharp is this blade? How... Um, how good is that primary cutting edge? Uh, there's a couple ways to tell. You can do the the three finger technique, and you can tell that it's biting in. You can do the nail technique, where you just with no pressure see if you can shave off a little bit of nail like I did. Um, you could slice through a hundred pieces of paper, uh, you know, or you know, slice a piece of paper a hundred times. Um, my best way of telling how sharp it is is can I shave with it? And not, I mean, can I shave my face? That's stupid. I'm not going to do something that's by my throat. I'm putting a sharp knife by my throat. But um, how how good can I shave my arm with it now? This is a clean blade, as you can see right now. And I have, there's no, I didn't glue hair to my arm or anything. I'm going to show you exactly how uh, exactly how sharp this is. But uh, let's go that little patch of hair there. I don't have anything over here because I tried doing this a couple times already. So, all right, now watch. Two fingers, okay? Uh, yeah, two fingers. Did you see it? That's how sharp that blade is. Not even putting any pressure, it shaves. So, I don't suggest you do that at home. You know, don't come to me if you do hurt yourself, because I'm not, you know, I'm not condoning doing that. Uh, it is still a sharp blade. It is very dangerous to do it, but... Whatever you do, is it's on you, all right? Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much uh, for viewing. Um, if you have any other questions on how to, you know, take care of your knives and keep them, you know, in tip-top shape, I mean, you can see what I did from this to this one. Um, you could, you know, rewind to the beginning of the video to look at how it was in the beginning and look, then look at how the blade is now. You know, no rust anywhere, especially that spine. Awesome cutting edge. Refined cutting edge, still mirror finish like it was when the day I bought it, and this knife is three years old. So, uh, actually, two and a half. I want to say two and a half years old. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like it, and I'll see you. I'll see you from there, guys. Thank you very much.